Now that the war is over and won, we've successfully helped preserve beautiful Australia for the enjoyment of future generations. And we'd like to thank you on behalf of the Australian Government and Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. Your brimming intellect was vital in the fight against the armies from the north. The technology you developed and the germ warfare you bred helped to kill the enemy with just ease. But there's a dark cloud to every victory. Australia lost many casualties during the war and we're now vastly underpopulated. We may need to send our best young men to die again sometime soon. But don't worry. You can continue to play a part in making Australia the best nation in the Southern Hemisphere. Life. Repopulation is the key to the future of this nation and of the Commonwealth. And babies like this one are needed to make adults. Adults who'll one day die proudly defending our nation. Your input can assure we avoid going to war with our Asian neighbours ever again. I can see you asking, what can I do to help? Well, that's a good question. Why not start at your locally federally approved milk bar or penny arcade? This is a great place to meet girls. Hey chaps, here's a couple of Sheilas. If you want to make a baby, you'll need at least one of them. But don't just stand there. Why not go over and introduce yourself? That's it. And now that you've got her attention, why not make some polite conversation? Here are some pointers to get you started. Got your pen and paper? Good. First, ask her if she's having a good time. When she says yes, ask her what her name is. And what other things can you talk about? Maybe you should talk about politics? Maybe that's too deep this early on. Or you could talk about your work at the lab. But that might seem too selfish. Maybe she likes music. You could try asking her about her favourite composer. Yes, that's it. Show her that you're trendy by talking about music. But talk about what she likes. That's it. Now you've got to know each other and sparks are starting to fly. Now it's time to take her on a date. A picnic is a great opportunity to sit in a field together and drink cheap wine. That away. You don't want her to know you're a square. Recent studies by the Institute of Scientific Assumption show that most girls aren't smart enough to enjoy calculus. Hey guys, isn't this fun? Maybe you should try a bit of physical activity just to warm yourself up. Why not toss the old flying disc? Whoops! What fun! Girls love an athletic guy. Remember to be careful when you throw. Girls are much weaker than men. Congratulations, lad. You've been on your first date. So what next? Well, if you eventually want to do your civil duty with this girl, you need to take her on a second date. Another great place to take your date is the movies. Girls find it romantic to spend time in the dark with their beau. And chaps, this is where you can make your move. That's sweet, but you can do better than that. Maybe start with a little subtlety. Do you really want her to know how desperate you are? Try holding her hand. 
Good. She hasn't even noticed you make the move. Now you're coming to the scariest part of the film. Time to show a little tenderness. She might resist a little at first. Girls like to play hard to get, especially when a guy is ugly like you. So some persistence and she'll know you really care. Better luck next time, pal. Now that you've got to know her a little, what next? Now it's time to ask her to marry you. Once the two of you are married, all of your hard work wooing your true love will be rewarded with a lifetime of marital responsibility. Now the first step is to choose the right location to pop the big question. Returning to the place you first met helps evoke those first exciting moments you spent together. Okay, why not ask her to dance? Go for it, guys. Now that you've got her warmed up, ask the disc jockey for a slower song. in her ear. Tell her she's God's most perfect creation. If she falls for it, it's time for you to pop the big question. Asking the girl to marry you takes very specific tact. First, you need a little social lubricant. That's the right idea. Now it's time to swallow your pride and pluck up your courage. Congratulations! Her father has agreed to the marriage. And now you're married. And don't you two look beautiful. Now you can do your duty for the nation and procreate. Procreation is complicated and you must seduce her in just the right way. Here are some suggestions. Now, now, no time to dawdle. You've got to go on your honeymoon. Wink, wink. And now you have two lovely bouncing baby boys. The rockets they build and the laser rays they'll invent may one day protect Australia against oncoming hordes of savages. We prefer it if you have boys. But if you have girls, don't worry. They can still contribute by cooking the meals for and sewing the patches of honour on our brave soldiers. The Queen wishes to personally thank you for your contribution to the Commonwealth. Here is a personal message from Her Majesty thanking you in advance for your fertile abundance. So go forth and let your naturally intelligent sperm do its job for Queen and Country.